Hello everybody, it's uh, the Soulful Stitcher, aka Melanie. So I wanted to come and do um, my first 2020 Floss 2 video um, and also announce the Year of Whips 2019 winner, which will come a little bit further down the video. Yeah, I know it sucks, but that's what it is. So a little bit of life update. Generally, when I do these videos and I talk about life update, I, uh, you know, say, oh, there's nothing to tell. Well, there's a couple things to tell this time. Um, as far as far as my family, though, however, everybody's great. My wife's great. My son's great. My mother-in-law's great. Um, my youngest son in um, New York, he's, he's doing fine. Um, so, and my mom as well is... She was sick or for um she was sick yesterday, but not anything serious, serious. So um as far as my family, you know, in a nutshell, everybody's great. But I'm not doing too great because let's see. Um one, I picked up some type of virus on my computer. I don't know how. I'm really smart when it comes to computers and different things like that, and I'm really cautious, so I'm a little bit concerned about <clears throat> how that happened. I don't know if I opened an email. I don't know if I went to a website. I don't know what happened, but um, it gave me a software virus. And you say, okay, well, how does that apply to cross stitching? Well, because I have a significant amount of money invested in PDF cross stitch patterns that are saved on my computer. So I'm a little bit stressed at this particular point. Um, the good thing is when I talk to the computer technician, he did say, however, you know, that it's positive, that he can fix it. Not a big deal. But um, needless to say, when I get my computer back, I'm going to have a, um, a surplus amount of USB uh, drive, um, thumb drives, excuse me, on hand. So that way I can transfer them off of my computer. So if something was to happen again, I know that they're safe. Um, the other thing is... I'm really angry at myself because I put back on a significant amount of weight and um not happy about that. But <clears throat> so today is day 1 of day 18 of no sugar. And um it doesn't mean after the 18th day I'm going to go back to sugar. It just means 18 days is preparing me for that significant life change. My son is graduating uh in December. So I'm determined to get that significant amount of weight off um, for that. Not just for him, but for me. But that event <clears throat> is really important to me. And I think it would make him really, really happy to show up and um, look a little bit transformed. Because uh, that's something that he's concerned about is my weight. And, you know, that's it's never good to be, you know big because you know there's so many health issues that can come with it and different things and I need to stay around to see grandkids additional grandchildren born and uh, to see my sons get married and different things like that and just to live my life for myself so um, those are pretty much the only life update so just keep me in your thoughts and prayers or you know if you're not a person of faith um, then just send me some good juju so now let's talk about stitching. I don't have a whole lot of whips to show only because I've been stitching on the same thing. I've just been driven to stitch on these two projects for, for quite some time. Um, and I was going to show pictures on Instagram and in the um, group, but I wanted to wait to show my progress on floss tube. So without further ado, Let's talk about um, some whips and we'll talk about some plans and then we'll talk about the um, my birthday haul that I got. My birthday was yesterday. I turned 43 um, and then we will announce the year of whip 2019 winner. OK, OK. So first up, <clears throat> I did not really make a, a lot of progress in this, um, but I love it. And so I did pick it up for the sake of picking it up. And this is called Always Forever Sampler by Stitching Stitches Through the Years. 
And this is as much as I got on this. And I'm using a Vicki Clayton uh, linen. And this is as much as I've gotten. Now, I know a lot of people have said, you know, Vicki Clayton's um, threads, her, her silk threads, over dye threads, are to die for. I mean, if you didn't score any of those threads, you really missed out. That's the attitude and the impression that I'm getting from the community. However, her linen is not to die for. It's it's very thin and it makes you feel like you're stitching on first aid gauze. However, I'm contra I'm going to contradict myself because with saying that using it on this project is turning out to be quite nice. However, with it being so thin and you being able to see in the back, you have to be careful, you know, not to carry your threads and not, you know, for the back to show or whatever. Excuse me, let me get some water. Okay. And um, I'm using a mixture. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I actually did my own conversion with Victorian Motto threads. So... Um, let's see. Yeah, no, I'm not going to pull all those out. I just did my own conversion of Victorian Motto. Next up. <clears throat> and there's going to be a little bit of rattling from my um, plastic envelopes, but you guys will be okay. Um, so next up, we have the Queen of Hearts by um, Owl Forced Embroidery. And so far on that, I have gotten this far. I'm uh, getting the Cheshire Cat or Cheshire Cat taken care of. The last time you guys saw this, I only probably had like part of the outline of the, the cat done. So that's coming along nicely too. And I'm using, um, I did not purchase the kit. I just purchased the pattern and kitted it myself. Okay. Next up, this is a new one that you guys haven't seen. So this is a haul, um, a birthday haul, because I'm in Stitch from Stash. And what Stitch from Stash is, is which everybody I'm sure you're familiar with. You, you don't purchase things. You stitch from your stash, whatever you have. Um, and when you do, you have a monthly budget, which my monthly budget is $25. And, um, you know, you have to subtract from that budget when you buy things. Um, and I can't remember if threads... I'm just saying in my head, everything counts. If I buy anything, you know, aside from what my family got me for my birthday because of course if you're gifted things that doesn't count I'm just going to count everything every piece of thread so I'm really really focused on not buying as much this year really getting stuff out and I'm following the year of whips and I'm also following my group what whip so I can get finishes kicked out you guys saw in um couple videos back that I had uh, two finishes for 2019, which is a big deal for me, um, which was Bethlehem by Little House Needleworks. And then I also did Always and Forever by Little House Needleworks. So um, I'm getting ready. This is part of my birthday haul. And this is called um, Pink Farm. Oh, excuse me. This is Pink Barn. And Pink Barn is the first part in a series by Shannon Christine Designs called um, Rose Farm. And there's actually four sections. And I was just, I wanted to just stitch this one. Maybe I'll stitch the other three down the road, but for, as of right now, I'm just stitching that one. And these are just DMC colors. Um, 
you know, normally she has beads and things in her design. In this particular one, it doesn't. It's just uh, whole stitches. So I'm stitching this on 28 count even weave. And I'm stitching it over, over two over two. And that's where I'm at right now. So this is one of the ones that I have been stitching on consistently. And that's the reason why I don't really have too much else to show. Um, because I love this design. And, um, you know, I want to really put some, some progress in it. Okay. Next up. Is Glitter Village by Little House Needleworks. And I'm working on um, Cottage or House One, however you want to say. And it's, yeah, Glitter Village. And I'm sorry, this is by Country Cottage Needleworks. And um, I'm using the Call for Threads. Now, let's talk about this pattern for a little bit. So, if for, I'm doing this on 32 count raw silver Belfast. And you know me. I'm a one over one woman. I love my one over ones. However, with this one, it just, it wasn't working out too well. So let me show you where I was one over one. Okay. That's where I was at. One over one. And I absolutely hated it. I, it, it was hurting me, my eyes. It, you know, even though I'd bought some different tools to work on it, it was just a pain. And, and it was a pain because the glitter in the fabric was making it hard to see, um, you know, the stitches. So I stopped. I was wrestling back and forth, going back and forth, back and forth. Should I keep going? Should I do a two over two? And so I decided to just cut my losses and do a two over two. And I'm very happy, very happy. I'm glad that I did that. Um, it's still the, the glitter still makes it a little more difficult to see, but nowhere near as an issue one over one. So what I did is, well, my wife who I love so much, took me to um, my local needle workshop on Friday uh, so we could get my birthday shopping uh, done. And so part of my haul, I just doubled the the threads, meaning I went back and bought additional overdyed called for threads uh, for this project. So since I'm stitching it two over two, I wouldn't run out. If I have more than what I need, they just go in my overdyed thread bin, you know, and I can use some of those colors on something else later on. But I'm really, really happy that I switched this to two over two. I'm getting a little upset um, only because I'm worried getting older, am I going to have to say goodbye to one over one eventually? And I'm hoping not. I'm really hoping not. But, um, and I'm just going to chalk it up right now and say the struggle is with the glitter in the fabric. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, in the call for threads, cause what I also did was I went to the website to find out the information for if you want to stitch it as a whole, how much, you know, how many skeins of floss am I going to need um, to do it all completely. And so I'm using bamboo. Let me just show you. So some of the colors we're using is lettuce leaf, uh, pink posy. And as you can see, like I said, I went back and just doubled, got additional threads. Uh, so since I'm stitching it two over two, make sure I don't run out on, on the colors that I had opened up and used one over one. If I didn't open them up, then I didn't buy additional. Brown hen. Um, let me see here. Cherry tomato. Blue bead board. bamboo and um you actually needed six skeins of bamboo so i went and uh got seven 
and Pebble Beach. Bamboo again. Gingerbread. Four leaf clover. And cobbled peach. Okay? Now, the interesting thing is, looking at the website, it's basically saying that I only needed one of everything but bamboo and four-leaf clover. They're saying that I needed six of bamboo and two of four-leaf clover. But to stitch all nine of these, I don't... I, I just feel like that's that can't be right. There's just no way stitching two over two. But I totally could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because, trust me, I've been known to be wrong before, so... And then, um, because I have it in this in this um, folder, let me just show you, for those of you who, who may be new, um, this is Bethlehem. This is what I completed by Little House Needleworks. And my wife and I are just waiting until we have the time to go into Hobby Lobby and find, um, you know, the materials that we're going to use to finally finish it. I know it'll be finally finished by the end of the year, so I'm not worried about that. But um, we just don't want to go to Michael's, find some frame, and stick it in a frame. No, we want to do something a little little better than that. Here's another one by Stan and Christine, too. This one is called Romance in Paris. I didn't do a whole, whole lot of this, um, but I did make progress, so might as well show it to you. And again, that's what this is looks like, Romance in Paris. And basically what it is is stamps. And I'm working on this block right here, this first block. And this one has a lot of beading, dude, a lot. So um, beforehand, oh, 28 count even weave. I did hand dyed this myself. So what I have done now is finish the background in the stamp part. Not too much. And the last whip that you can say that I worked on, which I'm really happy about this, is... Where are you, my darling? Or where's the cover page, at least? Okay. All Woman by Love Thy Thread Designs. And I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. I'm not looking forward to stitching all this black. However, without further ado, I would like for you to meet my nemesis. Her name is Mikkel Gray. And she has lips and a nose I just have to finish the hair part up in here and then it'll be almost complete and then I move on to her shoulder so I love this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a wall hanger. I'm going to trim it in black all the way around and do the wall hanging. So that was all of my whips that I worked on. So now let's talk about, um, oh, plans. And this is really quick. I got the 24 hour cross stitch um planner as everyone else did and i was going to um put my planner into the happy planner which is the bis the disc bound system but when i saw that everyone else had jumped on that i was like nope i'll just keep it in a binder it's not that deep um 
I, I really just don't like doing what everybody else does. So I'm just going to keep it in that binder. It works out well. Um, so my plans is basically for as far as the, you know, the goals for what with the groups that I belong in. This is my goal to touch every single whip I own and put 20 stitches in it for the year of 2020. That's it. Um, there are, and then I plan on finishing four projects. I don't know which one those four, those are going to be yet. And I'm going to finally finish one. And that's the requirements for what whip. And that's my plan to the whips that I don't love, put 20 stitches in them. The whips that I truly do love finish at least four of them and finally finish one. I'm also going to join embroidery.com, their um, So Much to Love challenge, which I do every time Donna hosts a, a challenge, I'm there. And um, basically from the 1st to the 29th, I need to stitch every single day for 30, day, 30 minutes. I'm with it. I can do it. That also works well with the 24 hours of cross stitch because I love the fact that Jen has you stitch every single day for 24 days. I mean, 24 minutes for me. That's the one that I do. And my year of stitching runs from January 18th to December 18th. So... Um, I don't do the, the, the first of January to the first of December. Mine's the 18th to the 18th, just to symbolize my birthday. So let's talk about gifts that I got, stitchy gifts that I got for my birthday. So one of the stitchy the gifts that I got is this ring lamp that um i'm using which you guys are familiar with it's a social media lamp it, it's in a ring it has the cell phone holder and it makes your social media floss to videos your youtube videos i mean just film so much better and i absolutely love it wasn't expensive at all there are expensive brands out there i'm not with all that this one was perfect for me and that's the one that i got so and i can't show it to you because obviously i'm using it um but other stitchy um, gifts that I got. So let's talk about my favorite designer, which let me tell you, my designer has changed. I actually have an additional designer. You guys know, hands down, Little House Needleworks, Country Cottage Needleworks is my jam. They are my jam. But uh, Shannon Christine, that's my girl. I love her design. So my top three, top three designers are Shannon Christine Designs, Little House Needleworks, Country Cottage Needleworks. And no, it's not Shannon is better than any of them. It's all of them are neck to neck. I love each designer equally. So, so without further ado, haul. Birthday haul. My wife and my mother-in-law are the best. They sent me on a shopping spree at my little, my local needlework and honey <laughs> shopping. I did go too. So, first up, I got stars. These came in the mail though. Um, Star Spangled Banner or Star, Star Spangled Garden by Country Cottage Needleworks. I love this pattern. Love it. And then what I did was I got the called for threads too. So I got Ladybug. I've got Blue Beatrice. Uh, Dirt, Dirt Road by Weeks. And Ivy by Weeks. So that's definitely going to be, you can say, some... 4th of July or patriotic stitching coming up for this year. Next, I got Liberty Lane by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. I received Be Thankful by Country Cottage Needleworks. I also received Sawyer and Finn Riverboat Company.
And I also received the inn at Fox River Mill. Oh, you know what? Okay. And guys, you know what? I'm missing one other piece of um I'm trying to find it. I'm missing another piece of haul. And I mean not another piece of haul. I'm missing a whip. And that whip is because of the fact that I was thinking about Tom Sawyer sparked it. I totally forgot. Big deal. Um, I've been also working on the Suffrage Act by Little House Needleworks. Everybody is familiar with that. Okay, so I was the one. And I'm going to say I was the one because when I thought about doing this, I kind of scoured groups and I didn't see anybody else who had said anything about doing this. So I'm going to take credit for this and I could totally be wrong, but because I didn't see anybody else, I was the one that decided that I was going to change the woman on the suffrage act. And I decided that I was going to change her to an African American because the 1920 suffrage act, uh, you know, relates to Caucasian women. It does not, it did not benefit African-American women. And African-American women or women of color did not get the privilege of voting until 1965. So I'm changing it to an African, a woman of color, African-American woman, and I'm going to change the year to... 1965. Um, most of the time when we do a woman of color in stitching, we use 435 or 434. And I actually used a darker color. I used hazelnut by, I can't remember. I want to say Weeks Dye Works. And the reason why is because if an African American woman is out walking in the heat picketing and protesting and trying to get rights, they are not going to be light-skinned sisters when they got finished. When you're talking about being in the heat and hot, and at that particular moment, I don't know if water bottles were a thing then or even if we had them. You know, they're parched, they're thirsty, they're out there in the heat, they're dusty. They're not going to look you know, caramel like myself by the time they got finished. They was going to have some darkness to them. Um, and so, um, and I also am glad that the dress is not white because also when you're talking about picketing in the heat, if you're wearing a white dress, baby, that when they get finished, that's not going to be white when it's done. It's going to be dusty. It's going to have some flex on it. It's going to have some, some neck dirt back there. So when I decided to do this, I went all out and really thought about what would be going on if I was a woman of color out there picketing, trying to get rights to vote. Um... So, and I can't even believe I forgot that whip. That was a hot mess, but I'm glad that I remembered um, to throw it in there. So, back to birthday haul. My son, who is amazing, got me the whole case of a toit. And the only thing that I was looking a little side-eyed about DMC is I'm trying to figure out since when does white thread look silver? You see that? Yes, this is supposed to be blanc. And I'm trying to figure out for the life of me when did when did white start to look silver? But, you know, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Um, so I was really, really, um, really happy that my son got me that. And then here's some more. 
So a friend of mine um, sent me a birthday gift in the mail. And um, she sent me, by Country Cottage Needleworks, a place we call home. And I love this. So I'm going to uh, be stitching this and adding this to my stash too. And when we move into our new home, when we find it, um, you know, I'll stitch it up and, and put it on the wall. So um, this is the stash that actually came from my local needlework shop. So I got Summer Basket by Scissor Tail Designs, and I love this. And I'm actually going to be starting this today. And I got the called for threads, which as you can see are uh, Brandy, Dry Time, Evergreen, Pink Azalea, Victorian Pink, Willow. I mean, this, this is just so cute. I love this. So I'm going to be working on that today. And that'll probably be another one that'll get a lot of my time. Then I got Bats in the Belfry by the Drawn Thread. And what I did was instead of, excuse me, the Dinky Dyes hand silk, I went ahead and kitted it up to Splendor Silk. The next one I got by Drawn Thread was Apple Blossom Sampler. And again, instead of getting the dinky dyes, I kitted this up to Splendor Silk. I love Splendor Silk. There's just something about it that I absolutely love. And that was it for my birthday haul. I really, really, really happy. Loved every single one of these. Um... My family is amazing. My mother-in-law is amazing, too. She got me Downton Abbey, the movie, um, the newest movie, you know, that they just brought out in the theaters. And, um, you know, you can't get it on TV or anything like that. And so, without further ado, let's talk about the Year of Whips winter, winter, excuse me. There were 16 entries, 16 women um, who had their photo albums labeled correctly. They had um, chosen a certain number of whips. And when it came down to December 18th, they had stitched either, either half of those whips or they stitched more than half of those whips. And so without further ado, when I did the random generator, the winner was number 10. Let me show you. Number 10, random generator out of 16. And that lucky person is Stephanie Kine. Stephanie Kine, number 10. So, Stephanie, please reach out to me and um, we'll take it from there. Congratulations. And uh, I really hope that more of you join the Year of Whips. It's a really great way to get whips stitched and get things done and, and get them out the way and make room for new stuff. You know, because we always start all the things, don't we? We don't never finish anything, but we start all the stuff. So that is my first floss tube for year 2020. So I want to thank you for joining me. Um, hope to see you guys come back. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell. Go up one so you get that notification every time I make a new video. And thank you for hanging out with me. Until next time.